Holy moly, Donut Shop Metro Boomin just released this newest project. Not all heroes wear capes, man. He dropped the title and the cover art yesterday on Halloween. Had everybody going crazy, like, what's going on? It's been a minute since we heard from Metro. You know, he went into retirement, and now he finally back out. He's coming back like Jordan. Well, let's not say Jordan because his comeback was not, not nice. But uh, <laughs> so I just got done listening to the album. This was my first listen review. Um, okay, it started off with track number one with Metro Classic Production. Then you got Gucci Man Focus, man. Like, yo, Gucci and Metro, like, chemistry is just perfection, man. Like, I, I just need to hear a new project from them both, man. That would be fire. Then the song transitioning at the end with the gospel sample, like, that was really dope. I really love that touch to it. Then it went into track number two with Travis Scott, melodic vocals. The, in the fire hums, like, Travis on that thing, like, hum. And I'm just in the back of my seat, like, yo, fam. Yo. Yo. <laughs> but yeah, man, that was really dope. I really loved the ending with, um, like, how... 21 Savage came in, ad let me, man, that was fire, man, then it went into his track, man, that joint gave me chills, bro was just started to whisper, I felt like it was like uh, 21 Savage ASMR on a Metro beat, that, I, I was fire, man, I think that's probably gonna be a new trend with rappers doing that now, then it went into track number four, track number four with the duo with Sway Lee, and Travis killing the vocals, man. Like, you got both of them, you know, singing on the track. Come on, dog, with Metro Production. That's just, that's a that's an easy giveaway. And track number five was really good. Also, the transition with Ghana. Ghana has been killing it lately, man. Like, his flow is just so freaking different and dope, man. It just captures you when he speaks, man. You just got to listen. It just, it flows really good. It's like his, his voice is like a instrumental itself. Then it goes in track number six, started out with 21, rapping on the topic of, you know, having 10 freaky girls on a yacht. I mean, it was just every man fantasy, man. Come on, dog. 10 freaky girls on a yacht. I mean, you know, I mean, not me, but... You know, you know, I got a girl, <laughs> but um, track number seven goes into a classic collab with Young Thug, man. Young Thug and Metro definitely have amazing chemistry together. Like, when they get on a track, it's just like it's a beautiful thing, man. It sounded like the older Thugger, too, man. Like, that's that old Thugger, that vintage Thugger, you know, that Metro booming Thugger. Like, we need that project, bro. We need that project. <laughs> um, yeah, man, Metro always seemed like he bring the best out of artists for some reason. I don't know if it's just the chemistry he has with artists. Uh, I don't know what he be doing in the studio, but he literally brings the best out of artists, man. Um, then it goes into track number eight with that interlude. Yo, like, Metro on the keys and having Travis, like, just singing, that was amazing, man. Like, that was some beautiful ish, man. I almost shed a tear in this chat, and I was like, yo, fam, whoa. I wasn't ready, man. Then the transition into track number nine with Gunner Thugger going back and forth. That was dope also, man. Um, you know, just pretty much speaking on the topic of having, you know, a beautiful lesbian, you know, <laughs> both of them going back, like, hey, something, something, dun, 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 and then you got Metro on the beat. Um, then it goes into track number 10, which was really good. Also with Sway Lee, we as kids singing about having a one night stand with a baddie. Track number 11 was a dance hall feel, man. That, that one. That's definitely going to be a radio hit right there. Um, this is definitely going to be the club banger for the ladies. Then track number 12 was very dark. You know, you had um, basically the artist coming on there. It started off with uh, Kodak. Uh, I forgot who else was on it, but like they just was speaking on, you know, pretty much being in pain, going through the struggle, you know, having that 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 outlet of, you know, using pills to kind of take the pain away pretty much you know that's kind of how 
you know, a lot of people just pretty much, you know, use drugs to kind of take that pain away. And that's sort of what they was doing. That was letting out their pain on the record and, you know, letting you know how they take the pain away. But then it went into track number 13, which was a bonus track. We already heard that track. It was with Drake. Uh, I forgot the name of it already. <laughs> but all in all, man, it was a really good album, man. I think that production was so freaking nice, man. The transitions were beautiful. Like, Metro is definitely back and he's coming back with fire for these for these cold times bro metro coming with the fire man thank you man we needed that we needed that dog we needed that but yeah man y'all make sure y'all go check out this new album um not all heroes wear capes it just dropped on spotify apple music title wherever you listen to music you can basically stream the album but I'm really happy this album sound really good, man. Like I said, Metro Chemistry with artists is just like he he truly brings out the best out of each artist he gets with, and it's not something that was just thrown together. It, it seemed like he took a lot of time and you know and just made a really good album. It wasn't too long, you know. It wasn't like no twenty odd tracks, you know, just to get some some a lot of. Uh, plays you know and try to hit the charts because you know you threw a lot of songs on there it was like what 13 songs on there you know transition like you wouldn't even notice the song was transitioning bro like that was fire man i, I like the samples he used in there um that was fire man i love the artists also man it wasn't too many features it was just the, the right artist, it, it, like I said, I, he definitely took his time with this. I know he did, man. I know he did. And this is a true masterpiece to me. But um, Metro Boomin, not all heroes were capes. I go cop that. Um, appreciate our support. Have a beautiful, blessed day. If you like support the channel, man, just join the Patreon. Link in the description. We out. Salute. Urgh.